What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Ecola Espresso, and welcome back to the countdown. Now, just eight days out from Advanced Warfare's launch, I am incredibly excited to get in this game. We are so close, it's right around the corner. Now, today, I got more reinforcement that I think that this will be the best Call of Duty game to date. Now, who knows? Maybe I'll end up eating my words later on down the line, but at the very point in time, I do believe that I won't be. Sledgehammer has done an absolutely amazing job taking everything that the community wants and putting it into one game. We've seen the best of both worlds, both from the Infinity Ward games as well as the Treyarch games, and this is just another reinforcement to that, that we're just going to be getting more awesome stuff that the community wants to see. Now, one of the big things coming out of the multiplayer release and all the public builds of the games were the fact that there wasn't anything other than a nuclear for a streak, which you could actually attain by having your kill streak stack up the number of kills that you had in that one specific life. Now, that is really cool and makes life a lot simpler for everybody that, say, can't get gun streaks, but for the pub stomping community, and people that were actually just generally good at the game. This is something that was a little discouraging to them. They wanted something more. Well, now we actually have more. The DNA bomb was confirmed last night by a streamer playing Advanced Warfare who happened to get their copy loads of time earlier than what you're supposed to, but in this stream, he was showcasing a lot of things, and he was playing in a private match just locally by himself against bots. This is something that you can't do online just yet because the servers are not up for the game. Probably about three to five days earlier, about the Friday-ish of this coming week is when the servers will go live for stress testing, and if people have the game early by then, well then they're able to get on and play online. But back to the topic at a hand, the DNA bomb, that is something that just sounds incredibly awesome, and we got a little bit of information from his stream about it. Well, it's a 30 gun streak, not a kill streak. There's a difference there. Kill streaks, like I said, are the amount of kills that you can string together in one life, and in this game, it's going to be both gun kills and kill streak kills so that's something that if you like nuclears you want to get high streaks this is something that kind of goes back to the modern warfare two days but doesn't reward you in just as big a way if you get 30 gun kills in a row and streak them together then you can get the dna bomb which is something that looks just absolutely awesome it kills the entire enemy team similar to a moab and a cam and not like a nuke where it ends the game but it will kill everybody on the entire enemy team getting you a few extra kills and actually showing off what you did and accomplished in the game that was one of the biggest outcries coming out of the public demos was that you could get something rewarding for your 30 kill streak, but nothing to really show it off to everybody in the lobby. That's something that you want to brag about pretty much. That's pretty awesome. And getting a 30 gun streak now will let you do that. So I'm pretty excited in the aftermath of this though to close it up in the detailing of this DNA bomb. It's going to leave a greenish mist around the map. It's not going to destroy any maps like we saw in Strike Zone back in Ghosts, and it's not going to leave the map completely all and disgusting looking the entire time. It's going to last about a minute to a minute and a half that mist and then it'll dissipate. Similar to what we saw on Sovereign I guess with the field order that released the gas there but definitely not as dense and not as thick. You can still see through it. It's almost just like a slight fog or mist on the ground. Now I think the best thing that we can talk about here today that makes this so much better than the chems, the moabs, the nukes, all that kind of stuff and then makes this just even more a better multiplayer experience for you guys that actually can get these. You can attain more than one DNA bomb in a single life. Now, with the Moabs and Chems, you'd have to die and start your streak all over. But if you continue your increments of 30 kills, you can get a DNA bomb for every 30 gun kills. That means 30, 60, 90, 120, 150, whatever it may be, however many kills you can string together, you're going to get a DNA bomb for every 30th kill after. So that right there is pretty revolutionary in streaks, in my opinion, combining the best of Treyarch games as well as Infinity Ward games and putting their own twist on it with their hidden streak. So come launch, you're going to be able to go for a 30 gun streak and get a DNA bomb. And I bet we're going to be seeing a lot of those and a lot of gameplays and pub stompers and all that kind of stuff going for that, making some sick gameplay. So I'm hopeful that we're going to see some great content coming out of Advanced Warfare with all this kind of stuff. But that's all for today, guys. Let me know what you think down there in the comment section down below. Are you guys really happy like me that we have a hidden streak in Advanced Warfare for gun kills? Personally, I love it. Like I said, this is great for the game. It gives another added bonus to go for. But if you did like the video, be sure to leave a like rating down below. Any shares your Facebook, Twitter, and or MySpace. If you would like that, always greatly appreciate it. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe for the best Call of Duty Advanced Warfare content. Any new news information, you guys know exactly how to find it right here up on my channel. Thank you guys once again so much for watching. My name is Vinicola Espresso. As always, because I'm having a great day, I should see you guys tomorrow. Take care and peace. Right, <laughs>